wrong with you? Don't worry, Katie. Still my favorite part of the movie. Girl can dance. So going on my YouTuber subscribers, hope you guys are having an amazing weekend because the new horror movie that is sweeping the nation to kick off 2023, Megan, is in theaters right now. Oh my goodness. Just saw it for a second time and I saw it with an even fuller audience and this movie is, it's, it's even better the second time around. Maybe just as good, but when my girl hit that dance, the audience just lost her shit. That was some good shit. But her on America's Got Talent. But the reason why you clicked on this video is because you want to pretty much know, like, okay, let's talk about some spoilers with Megan. Like, what the hell is the movie about? Is it worth checking out? Is it worth waiting until HBO Max? I'm here to tell you that this shit is really, it's, it's, it's entertaining. Entertaining because of Megan being so, like, do I want to say original? Because it's kind of, is like, you know, like, it's kind of like a remake of the 2019 Chucky. Kind of like done better i guess i say better because like i said megan is a clean slate compared to chucky like chucky like we know we have an idea what chucky is megan on the other hand she's just like her own person so she pretty much can like carve out her own slot in the movie in our culture and we saw where the movie ends which we will get to a second you know why this movie's great so let's just get into the spoilers talks let's talk some spoilers about megan you ain't seen megan yet it's in theater now check it out let's talk about it here's why it's so fucking good first of all the way the movie opens up we got the fact that we got this funk funky funk let's call the movie funko it's not funko funky whatever it's this toy company or whatever that makes this like what was this some type of Kirk, Fur, kirby furby doll or whatever it was hideous it was ugly and I didn't like it. Then we get introduced to Katie and her parents and pretty much in about the course of five minutes, Katie's parent pretty much turned into a hashtag because this snow plow comes in and just kills shit out of all of all her parents. Not Katie. I was gonna have a movie. Now fast forward, we meet Gemma and stuff like Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. I'm gonna call her, it's, I'm gonna call her Emma so bad and that just sounds natural. I'm gonna call her Emma. And if you don't like it, there's the door. Wait, Emma, she is this like builder, stuff like that. Like she made a freaking like life-size robot and she finds out that, oh, my my, my sister's dead. Uh, I guess that kind of sucks. That's a bit inconvenient. Dobbs, Katie, and them two go to the house. It's pretty much they have this like, well, you know, I, I kind of don't really like kids. So then when she, Katie meets the robot, whose name was Bruce, Told you, told the, the the age of Ultron. She meets Bruce, stuff like that, and she's like, "Oh, you know what? This robot's awesome. If I had a doll like that, if I had a toy like that, I would never want another toy again, ever." And thus, light bulb. Gamma's like, "Oh, you know what? I think I'll get that. You know, Megan doll will remade again because at the beginning of the movie, Megan just kind of." Blew her head off and shit. Oh, those prototypes just ain't cutting it. So more or less, she remakes Megan, and Megan is like the perfect companion for Katie because she's all polite and she just has cool hair. When you first meet Megan on the scene, you're just like, oh well, no, she seems harmless enough, enough like that, you know. And her and Katie, they do the, you know, the touching thing from what movie was that? The touching. I feel good. Maybe my new soft spot. But we're not stupid. We've seen killer doll movies before. You know, things are like gonna be normal and cool in the beginning until it's like there was a scene in the movie where uh, Katie was shooting the arrow shit at Megan, and Megan's pretty much just like, oh, wow, a butterfly. Oh, a plane. I'm taking that down next. She goes to get a arrow for Katie into the fence board, and then the dog just fucking grabs, just wrecks shit out of Megan, and it bites Katie too, and it pretty much just gives Megan code for like, oh, yep, dog, prepared to be terminated. Again, horror movie 101 and doll horror movie 101. Animals gotta die in the beginning of the movie. That's just how that's just how it works. But what the real meat and potatoes for me in the movie was the fact that you get the conversation is kind of a montage stuff like that where it's like, oh yeah, you know Megan, you know she got all these cool features stuff like that. She's always learning and she's like the perfect companion for your kids and stuff like that. And also the fact that you know Megan can take the role of a parent off of the parent because you know she was like oh parents like 68 percent of the time stuff like that they're teaching their kids you know right from wrong and shit they introduced megan and she just cut that out all together and that whole the part that made me be like that's some interesting shit this is the things that weren't touched on in child's play 2019 because it's like and it was addressed in the movie what do you do when you take the parent out of the situation stuff like that out of the equation you just have megan and the child and have a situation where 
you're gonna get a murder bot. Oh, the situation where it's like, oh, Megan is the parent now. So when the actual parent tries to intervene into the child's life, the child's gonna be like, well, who the fuck are you? You're not around no more, so why should you be around now? Watch, I listen to you. Those were the deep things stuff like that that I was like, this movie is, the yeah. So fast forward a little bit like that, Megan, she gets, when they take her to uh, Katie and Megan, they go to like this uh, retreat or camp or something like that, was some type of something, something. We introduced to this shithead, Brandon, I'm just like, okay, dead kid walking. It was part of the movie where like, Brandon took Megan's shoe and he gets on top of Megan and there was people in the audience that was just like, is, is, is he gonna fucking rape him? Brandon raped the doll. It would have brought up to a hard R. It made the movie a bit bizarre. More or less, you end up with Megan running on all fours and Brandon pretty much falls down a cliff into the front of a car and he gets taken out. It gets turned into the late Brandon. Pretty much it's just like, oh, Megan, did you do it? Did you not do it? Stuff like that. And I kind of, I had to kind of argue with myself. Did Megan really kill Brandon? Because Brandon more or less chased him, but he fell down a hill and the car took him out. It wasn't really the dog. Megan didn't push him, so some duality shit like that. But then let's get to the end of the movie, more or less, where it's Megan v. Emma v. Katie, shit like that, because Megan can just hotwire an Audi. She could just do that, but not before hitting that sick dance move, show it again. That was some good shit, because she checks out the corporate CEO douchebag, which I swear, he looks like Shang Chi's discounted, you know, non copyrighted counterpart, whose character I will say is like totally like does he know he's in a horror movie or does he think he's in a comedy movie because sometimes I, I, he, he can't tell and we can't either megan gets home pretty much he's like you know what katie's the only person that i need in my life and i can either do this with you or without you so she chokes the fuck out of mega no she, megan chokes the fuck out of gamma emma emma ends up pretty much being megan v katie which she puts on the glove shit like that from you know thor rack to rock she's just like you know what just one member you don't know about that's Bruce. Bruce comes to life, but then Bruce rips Megan in half and shit. And I was just like, hold on, it was just like, she ain't dead. Of course, Megan comes back to life because her like motherboard is in her skull and shit. So, and they made Katie, no, they made Emma the hero and shit like that because she gets to drop on Megan, pretty much ripped that thing out of her head. But of course, Katie had to deliver the final blow. Which is also something because it's like, there's really no like male leads. It's really a female lead, even a female villain movie, shit. I mean, didn't think about that, huh? But Megan dies and she's gone forever until the end, the last shot in the movie is that little Alexa thing, his eyes glow. And I was just like, one, she's not dead. And I was also like, oh, another ripoff from Child's Play 2019. Can't beat him, join him. Um, but at the end of the day, Megan was a surprisingly entertaining movie. Can we all agree? It was entertaining as shit. Megan's gonna be like that new character, that new horror movie character that I'm gonna be like, I wanna see more of you. Maybe another movie, maybe a spinoff show, maybe, I don't know. But I will say her sick dance moves were awesome. And yeah, this was a really surprising movie. Whole audience had a good time with it, had a good time with it. What do you think about Megan? Type below, let me just talk about it, share your thoughts. And I think Jay was thrown off surprisingly pretty good. Next week though, yeah, it's gonna be some shit. And as always, guys, subscribe. Until next time.